Good morning, and I wish I could say to you that my morning's only just started, but I've been awake since 11.30, hence the last night. Um, day one, in a nutshell, uh, got up, had meetings, did some work, and generally speaking, no dramas, ate far too much food. <laughs> Honestly, it was like the last supper over and over again. Um, exercised, thankfully, only just squeezed that in. <laughs> only just squeezed it in that's stupid <laughs> because it's not like I've got a thousand hours on my sleep um, but yeah I actually did just squeeze it in at the end of the day uh, and, and, and all since the, fir the first day was fine was in bed by 7.38 asleep and then woke up at 11.30 not even sure why I woke up who woke me up, how I woke up but I woke up um Fortunately, I did because there was a small meltdown in my house. And that leads me to key message number one for day one, or day two. Which is plan. And I'm not saying, um, I'm not saying, I'm not asking you to plan in my way. We all have our own way of planning things. And each and every one of you out there will have a strategy or a way in which you do things. But plan for the challenges. Why? Because... At some point, every single human being that you are around right now, including yourself, is going to go through a moment of challenge. And the, the key is to have some strategies in place for that. So fortunately, at 11.30, 12 o'clock tonight, one of the members in my household had a, had a, a challenge. And fortunately for me, I was able to bring some strategies to life in that space for that particular person and for my family. And it was around setting themselves purpose throughout the next four to eight to however long purpose, but also being prepared for the worst. So one of my kids said to me, oh, mum, I don't know how I'm going to get through these four weeks. And I said, well, actually, don't think four, think eight, because the reality is if you think four and it takes us five, <coughs> You're going to be disappointed but if you think eight and we get out at four you're going to be grateful and feel good so just plan plan for the challenges um, give yourself some strategies <clears throat> so that's number one tip today number two is and this is probably the key one today I spent some time um, talking to my auntie who wanted who reached out to me and I obviously reached back and after a significant amount of time helping my mother to get on to our Zoom call. Thanks, Mum. We got there in the end. Um, we got to the nuts and bolts as to why she wanted to talk to me. And, and why she wanted to talk to me was because her partner, who was working in the land splices, I think, is what they call it, in Porirua, uh, he wasn't, they were just, they were working while the country was in lockdown and there were overalls and some gloves, but they had no protective gears for their face. They, they had some sanitizer, but that was about it. And they were dealing with all of our rubbish. And my auntie said to me, Matt, am I, am I overreacting? I said, no, you're not. And I emailed um, the deputy mayor of Porirua, who is um, somebody who I know of, don't know well, haven't spent any personal time with this person, but I emailed her. I knew who she was and, um, one of my Facebook friends, so that must make it real. Um, and, and she responded within 10 minutes, which was fantastic. And tonight, all of them were given the gears that they needed to keep them safe. So that's a yay. But it's also a reminder of the people that are out there working um, to Scotty Agnew down in Christchurch. I saw a post about you on the front line. These are the heroes today. The heroes today are the people that are working in the supermarkets, in the rubbish chips, in the hospitals, the heroes of today are actually the ones that are still out there risking their own lives for our safety. So you know what? The key message today is just acknowledge that. So if you're having some hard times at home, um, without being cruel, I want to say get over yourself. Because those guys are out there, they're working their asses off, and they are knowingly putting themselves in danger. And... Then I was also reminded of that when I saw a post from my brother-in-law who was in Australia and um, he had a rant. He's a very passionate man, his civilio, civilio. And <clears throat> he was saying how he actually had to stay at work because the country hadn't shut down. And come on, Aussie, like seriously, 
just put your people at ease and give them a chance to freaking survive. Um, but anyway, he was saying how for him, you know, he has to he has to make a choice between working or staying home, but there's no financial reprieve if he stays home right now because they haven't gone into lockdown. And I thought to myself, you know what? I don't care how tough it gets for me in isolation. I get to isolate, and these guys don't. And there's a whole bunch of people that are not going to, and there's a whole bunch of people around the world that haven't. So you know what? When you are feeling like, oh, I don't get to go to the supermarket whenever I want to, or I don't get to go down the road, or I don't get to see my friends, just stop it. Just stop. And just think about those people that don't have the choices, like we do to stay home so those are my key messages today is one is plan plan for the challenging moments you know um, get as many strategies and tools and things that you can do you know I said to the guys here I think my my niece is going to try and learn the real with my mum my mum's been at home and she's been really um, probably moderately depressed and I said good you can create a lesson plan around the real for me and my niece, I'm going to be the worst student, which I'm looking forward to. Here's my cat, who I love. Um, <clears throat> he'll come around and give me a cuddle shortly. Here we go. And cue my puss puss. Okay. Yes, you are very handsome and I love you. And <laughs> Good. <laughs> and cue video failure. Thank you, my cat. Um, so yeah, so the second message is please, please, please really think about those guys that are out there. And I know you've seen all the ads. I know you're, you're um, hearing it. But these guys, I'm hearing things like they're crying. You know, I saw a post about someone saying that they wanted to have the warehouse stay open. And I'm like, you know what? Anything we don't need to keep open, we shouldn't. We should let people have the luxury, just like we do, of staying safe. So be reminded that us in isolation is a luxury. And while you're in isolation and you're finding it challenging, then be reminded that you can create some strategies. And so, for example, my mum, she's going to create a lesson plan for us, for me and my niece. Um, and also for, you know, for my kids, I've said if there's stuff that you think you could do, then do it over the next four weeks because we've got the opportunity to do this. So lots of people are saying things like stay positive, um, stay motivated, all of those kind of things. Yes, yes, please do that. But think about what that means. Go to another level. Dig a little deeper. Ask yourself how that's going to look and then think about what that's going to mean for you. And if you don't know how to do that, then please join me. Be sweet, B E S U I T E dot co dot NZ and book in a time with me and I'll help you to do that. I've got a few forms there that I can use that I can help you with. I've got lots of tools that I can draw on um, to support you in that space. And, um, and anybody out there with children, I was talking to an incredibly intelligent, oh, actually, that's not even the right word to use for this man. This young boy is a philosopher. He's only 22. He's, he wrote this program when he was 18, and quite frankly, it's probably one of the best learning guides I've ever met. So we're turning, we're turning it into a digital program. Um, for people that are at home and need to learn how to study uh, and that will be available next week uh, so I guess what I'm saying is spend this time as you adjust to your new life spend this time thinking about what is isolation going to look like for you over the next however long set a longer period of time not a shorter period of time um, so have some great strategies some great tools and then secondly when you do feel like life is shitty and you hate the fact that you've been locked up in these four walls, just remember that there are people out there that are risking their lives for us. And um, and that should be a half-decent enough reason to pull your socks up, <clears throat> take a deep breath in and move into a place of purpose for you. And again, like I said, if you don't know how to do that, just come and make a meeting with me be sweet b-e-s-u-i-t-e dot co dot n-z and uh, book a time in for free because um it's free to have a chat with me in fact to be fair let's be honest i want to chat to everybody anyway um so love you heaps talk to you tomorrow and have a great second day